Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is Amantazar from the Chicago camp coming back at you again with another lesson entitled, I Assume You Are a Man. Okay? Um, so in this short, uh, this short is hilarious. This place is so over. Babylon, you know, means confusion. All right. The, the, this particular guy, okay, is dealing with someone, right, who wants to have him affirm him as being a woman when in fact he's not a woman. Now, the guy is trying to play along to the best of his ability. So he says to her, he's got his camera out just to keep himself out of trouble. He says, what are you? What, what would you like me to call you? Because he really doesn't want to call him a her. All right? So he's just doing it reluctantly. But it's just a, a, it's a shame that he has to do that. So he's doing it reluctantly. He's like, what would you like me to call you? Ob obviously, of course, if he is a man dressed as a woman. Okay? So he wants you to call him a woman. But he's, you know, he's, he's being a smart ass in a way. He's like, what would you like me to call you? He said, and so the man says, what do you see when you look at me? And then he says, I assume that you're a man. So that's the title of this lesson. I assume that you are a man. Okay. And then we'll get some scriptures. Let's take a look at this. This is hilarious. So what are you? So I can call you a sir or a man. What are you? What are you? <laughs> there you have it. You see, this is this is a man dressed as a woman. He wants you to play along, all right, and affirm him as being a woman. So this this worker, okay, he it looks like Issachar, sounds like Issachar. He really don't want to play along all the way. So he, he's given a little bit of resistance. What would you like me to call you? Obviously, he's dressed as a woman, so he wants you to treat him as a woman. But he's asking the question just to, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> piss him off, I guess. It is working. Let's watch it one more time. So I can call you a sir or a ma'am. What are you? What are you? I assume that you're a man. So what are you? So I can call you a sir or a ma'am. There you go. Okay. So let's get the scriptures. Alright. I assume you are a man. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand and made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. These people are crazy. These people are mad, okay? Babylon is just this gold, this golden cup, okay? All right? Drunken of her wine. All of these philosophies and ideas. Just it's a land of confusion. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 25, it says... So that they are, so that there reigned in all men without exception, blood and manslaughter, death and dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good terms, defiling of souls, changing of kind. Okay, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery and shameless uncleanness. Okay, these are all the byproducts of what? Verse 27, for the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. Okay, all right, so for the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you were given, okay, the law, statutes, and commandments, and the beautiful judgments of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, so you were given the light. You were given the instruction. 
Okay, these heathen, all right, they weren't given anything. They have their own idols. Okay, so it's no wonder that they're lost. That's not an issue. Okay, so, but Jacob has learned Esau's ways. Let's look at Isaiah 13 and 19. It says in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be it dwelt, it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, and neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there, and satire shall dance there. America is finished. Okay, we we we're 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 months away from central, uh, the central bank digital currency. Okay, so all of this uh, so-called American dollar, they're about to go electric. Okay, or digital. So there's not going to be any way, all right, that Esau don't know what's going on with you, all right? This place is finished, okay? This place is finished. I pray that this lesson has been edifying until the next one. Shalom.